In this video, I'd like to introduce the so-called co-function identities. So let's remind ourselves, or maybe introduce it, if you haven't seen this terminology before. An identity is an equality that's always true. So something like x plus x equals 2x. This is always a true statement. There is no value of x that would make this false. This is an example of an identity. Compare it to something like x plus 4 equals 7. This is not an identity because it can be true or false. It's true when x equals 3 and it's false when x isn't equal to 3. Now, let's look at this right triangle. We're measuring angles in radians here. So a right triangle, or rather any triangle, has pi radians. A right angle is pi over two radians. So for these angles to all add up to pi, if this is pi over two and this is alpha, then this angle up here is pi over two minus alpha. And now let's take a look at the sign of alpha. The sign of alpha, some old horse, it's the opposite over the hypotenuse. I'm calling these sides W and V instead of opposite and adjacent intentionally. And now let's go up here and let's look at this angle. And instead of the sine, let's look at the cosine. This angle is pi over 2 minus alpha. So the cosine of pi over 2 over alpha catch another horse. The adjacent side is this V. And the hypotenuse is still H. So you see, no matter what alpha is, at least as long as alpha is less than pi over 2, so you can create this triangle, this sign and this cosine are the same. They're V divided by H. And you see the sine is related to the cosine. And for that reason, this is called a cofunction identity. That the sine of alpha is the same as the cosine of pi over 2 minus alpha. 
And we can repeat this with other functions. For example, the tangent of alpha, take oats away, v over w, the cotangent of this angle, Let's see. The tangent is this um the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. The cotangent is the reciprocal of that. It's the adjacent over the hype over the opposite. The adjacent side here is V. The opposite side is W. And you see, again, this relationship between the tangent and the cotangent, a very similar relationship to what you saw between the sine and the cosine, that the tangent of alpha is the same as the cotangent of pi over two minus alpha. And I'm now going to pause this video and fill this list in. There are six of them, but hopefully learning these won't be so bad because they're all following the same pattern. The non-co-function functions, the sine and the tangent and the secant, are equal to the cos function of pi over 2 minus the angle. So the sine of alpha is the cosine of pi over 2 minus alpha. The tangent is the cotangent pi over 2 minus alpha. The secant is the cosecant pi over 2 minus alpha. And then the co-functions, the cosine, the cosecant, and the cotangent are the non-co-function of the same difference. The cosine is the sine of this subtraction. The cosecant is the secant of this subtraction, and the cotangent is the tangent of this subtraction. And those are um, the cofunction identities. They're the first identities that we are going to see in this course, but they will by no means be the last.